By now, you may know the name James Chandler. The 57-year-old man who died from septic shock, all because the Ohio Attorney General's office says staff members at a Columbus nursing home neglected a terrible bed sore. Criminal charges and a lawsuit have already been filed. But tonight, you're going to hear from a man and his lawyer who filed a lawsuit a year ago against that same facility, Whetstone Care Center. And the allegations are eerily similar. Investigator Tom Susie joining us tonight with more on what he has discovered. Kelly Mark, Kelly and Mark, behind me, a picture of the late Jim Chandler. Now, the guy you're about to meet never met Mr. Chandler. Nonetheless, he feels a strong connection. The only difference between me and him is that I lived through this, and I'm a voice to tell my story. He was not able to do that. Bill Rogers' story begins December of 2016. I had a hip replacement routine. Following surgery, Rogers says he came here, Whetstone Care Center, for rehabilitation. Within a week, Rogers says it started. Getting a sore on the bottom of my rear. As the days pass by, Rogers says that sore got worse and worse. And I kept telling anybody and anybody would listen to me. I told my therapists, I told my nurses, I told my aides, front desk clerk, anybody that would listen, I would I tried to get their attention. And nobody would hear me. On January 15, 2017, Rogers says Whetstone Care Center transferred him here to Riverside Methodist Hospital. Rogers says he can still hear those words. Doctor told me if I'd waited one more day, I would have been dead. It's all spelled out in the attending physician's notes provided to us by Rogers' attorney. Necrotizing, soft tissue infection, ulceration resulting in sepsis. Non-operative management will likely result in death. It's about here, and it's down to the bone. Literally, he's rotting down to the bone. Akron attorney Jim Casey represents Bill Rogers. Casey filed this lawsuit last June against Whetstone Care Center and the McIntosh Company, which operates seven senior care facilities in central Ohio. How does this happen? The only way it happens is by not turning him, by not getting him moving. As a result of that bed sore, Rogers had surgery. Taking part of my tailbone out and removing, they ended up having to do two surgeries to remove the infection. If this story sounds familiar, it should. The Ohio Attorney General's office says Jim Chandler died in 2017 from septic shock after staff here at Westone Care Center neglected to address a massive bed sore. And I'm here to stand up and be a voice for that, for that gentleman that died. He can't be, but I can be. Here's what Whetstone Care Center has to say about that lawsuit and allegations. The health, safety, and well-being of our residents has been and will always be our top concern. And we hope Mr. Rogers has made a full recovery from any health issues. As our attorney has said in court documents, we strongly disagree that any of the injuries described by Mr. Rogers in his lawsuit were caused by the care he received at Whetstone more than two years ago. And of course, we'll stay on top of this one. Local for you, Tom Susie, NBC4. All right, Tom, thank you.